Hello all, welcome to the AVR Programming Tutorials video file. In this video, we shall see the installation of Atmel Studio 6 and how to create a new project. It is no more called AVR Studio, it is Atmel Studio 6 and it is a single studio for both ARM and AVR chips. It incorporates its own C, C++ compiler, open source compiler. So a separate WinAVR installation is not required as in older versions of AVR. But you need Visual Studio 2010 pre-installed. Even if you don't have it, Studio 6 will take care and install it for you. Google for Admiral Studio. Click on the first result. You will be taken up to the download page of uh, Atmel Studio 6. You select the first uh, one, Atmel Studio 6 installer full. It is a huge download of 740 MB. And uh, you have to register it by providing your uh, email ID for enabling the download link. After download is over, double click the Atmel Studio 6 installer to start the installation. Now the Atmel Studio 6 setup starts. As it is a huge download, it takes some time for installation. So please be patient while installation. Accept all default values and start the setup. Atmel Studio, it integrates the Visual Studio so that you get intelligence and suggestions while you uh, type your C code inside the IDE. Installation is proceeding. Initializing Atmel Studio 6 for first time use. Now the installation is completed. Click finish. If you check up the install components, there you can see the new ARM GCC, C, C++ compiler for the ARM chips and uh, AVR GCC, a Atmel software framework, ASF, AVR assembler and uh, visual assist for Atmel Studio. Double click on Atmel Studio icon to start up the Atmel Studio 6. This is the welcome page of Atmel Studio 6. Click on new project. Under install templates, select C, C++ and then GCC C executable project. You have to provide a name for your project. Type blink LED. So the same name is automatically given to the solution name. Don't forget to click this uh, tick mark, create directory for solution. And then click OK. Now you will be taken up to the device selection window. Under device family, you select Mega AVR 8-bit as we are going to use 80 Mega 16 for our project. Scroll down the huge list and select 80 Mega 16. Click OK. Now you will be presented up uh, with the solution explorer. Under the solution you can see your project LED Blink 1 and the IDE automatically creates a C file, a blank C file, LED blink 1.c and uh, you can see the skeleton of the C file where you can provide your code. Before feeding in your C code, you have to do two important settings. Under project, you select your blink LED projects, the properties of your uh, blink LED 1 or you just press Alt F7. And under tool chain, 
you select AVR GNU C compiler and under that you go for the symbols there you can see the defined symbols and the green plus mark you click on that green plus mark and you type in capital letters F underscore CPU equal to we are going to use 8 megahertz clock so 8 followed by 6 zeros and UL which stands for unsigned long click OK now again under toolchain AVR GNU C compiler you select the optimization and under optimization level you select O2 optimize more so that your final hex files are much much smaller so these two settings are very very important over toolchain you can see a small asterisk mark this indicates that your settings are not saved so press control S now this mark goes away and it uh, it means that your settings are saved now you can proceed with the C code as Visual uh, Studio 2010 is incorporated with Atman Studio you have the facility of IntelliSense you can feel the help of IntelliSense as you go on typing C code now we are going to include utility delay header file so that you can use the uh, delay millisecond type ash and then include you can see the intelligence in action you can select this by pressing the tab key we are going to include the utility delay dot h so type util ut and select the first uh, first one by pressing the tab we want the delay dot h go to delay and then type the tab now it is included util slash delay dot h this is the header file for including a delay timer inside your program and inside the main void we are going to declare the data direction register c the last two bits as uh, output so you type ddrc binary we are going to use binary last two bits are set up as uh, output put a semicolon and under uh, never ending loop we are going to toggle the LEDs going to select the port C and uh, make the last two LEDs on so make the last two bits high now we want a delay of 500 milliseconds type underscore automatically IntelliSense will provide you with delay MS select it with a tab and provide 500 milliseconds delay and a semicolon again we want to make the port C the last two bits um, two LEDs off port C last two bits are made low so that LED is off again we want a delay of 500 milliseconds type underscore automatically delay ms is there select it with tab find in milliseconds put a semicolon now your coding is over you're going to compile it with the build build solution or you just press f7 straight away you can see in the output window you can see build is succeeded
so if you go to file and then open file under debug you can see the hex file this hex file is created this is the file we are going to fuse it on the target chip 80 mega 16 so note on the location of this hex file it is under my documents atmel studio our project name led blink one again led blink one and under debug this hex file is there you know down the location so that we are going to feed it uh, in the burner software 